Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about if else in Python. So before we understand if else in Python, I will try to correlate it with the real life examples and how in our day to day life, we make decisions based on if else. So I'll take some of the, you know, funny examples and we'll understand if else in very, very simple way. And I hope that by end of this tutorial, you are able to grasp if else very easily within Python. So let me create quickly a Python file and I'll name it as Python if else. All right. So before we actually understand if else programmatically, let's first take an example, the real life example. Say, for example, you are in your school and your parents are talking to you based on certain, you know, if you score this much, you get this. Else, you get this. So, depending on, so usually in day to day talk as well. So, when parents talk to kids and we have all been through that phase. So, we have given these choices. If you get above 90%, you will get this gift. If you, if you get above 80% or between these ranges, you will get this. So, if else is very common part of our day to day life, we make decisions based on if else. So our parents did with us. Even if you try to just think about the real life situations in just a single day or single hour of your day, you will realize how many if else or how many conditions you use. And based on the, the those conditions, you make your decisions in your day to day life. Programming is no difference. If you try to correlate, try to simplify things and correlate it with your day to day examples, you will find it really, really easy. So look, I'll take the same example. If I score this much, what I'll get from my parents. So let me first explain you the syntax of if else in Python. So the syntax is basically it starts with if and then it will evaluate the condition. So whether the condition has been evaluated true, it will execute whatever is below the if. Otherwise, it will move to else. Now there is one more L if. So I'll cover that as well. So if say, for example, my score is greater than 90 and then followed by colon. And once you um, enter the colon and hit enter, you will see that it automatically indented. So as there are no curly braces to define the scope of the code within Python. So the Python you need to use indentation. So usually what it means is so if I write a line of code just at the same level as my previous line, it will be considered uh, you know, the next line. So, but if there is a condition, uh, I want the value or the values within this particular condition to be executed. So, for example, after this, if then I have to put a tab or basically the four spaces after the if. So, because there are no curly braces, it is indented and it is expected. Uh, and then you can evaluate or it will execute or it will whatever code you will write below this if condition if statement will be executed as part of the if if the condition has been met all right so if my score is greater than 90 so what will happen say for example my parent gives me something right so my parents uh, i get motorbike okay good gift else so there are some parents which are very strict right so if you score above 90 then you get a motorbike else no you don't get anything okay so so my parents are very strict so they won't provide me anything now let me define a variable score and say for example i scored 95 okay i'm a very studious person so i scored 95 let's see what happens Oh, I got a motorbike. So because my parents promised that if I score above 90%, I get a motorbike. 
right so this is how you will write if else within python right so if keyword followed by space your condition if that condition is evaluated to true because here i scored uh, the score is 95 percent which is greater than 90 it evaluated to true and then it will move to the if condition because i have indentation there and then it will print whatever is below that if condition okay so i got the motorbike now if this condition is not met or if it is evaluated to false then in that particular case it will move to the else block all right so anything below else will be the else block if there is an indentation all right so if i do not indent this particular line you will see that it will start throwing error okay so here it will expect indentation because it is below the else block so if i run this now without an indentation you will see that there is an indentation error because it is expecting indentation so even if i put just one space there it will work however it will the the recommended is to have four spaces or simply press tab after else okay or after if so here in this particular case the condition hasn't been met and it has printed you don't get anything okay so because my parents were strict i couldn't get anything if i scored less than 90 percent now there are some parents which are very lenient so they'll say they'll give you a range so if you score 90 percent you get a motorbike if you score between 80 to 90 percent or above 80 and less than 90 then you get something now in that particular case what i can use is is l if so there is a keyword l if which you can read it as else if so now if my parents have given me a range that if you score between 80 to 90 percent you will still get something so what they have said is if i score else if i score greater than 80 percent and less than 90 percent okay then i will still get something so say for example they said i will get bicycle not great as motorbike but it's okay i mean i'm still getting something okay so okay here i'm missing score sorry not here and score all right so here i'll put the spaces as well so now if my score is between 80 and 90 percent then i will get a bicycle so if i run this code now you will see i will get a bicycle because i have scored 85 and my parents have promised that i will get a bicycle okay now there are a few parents which are even more lenient okay if you score above 90 you get this between this range you get this and if you are okay uh, even less than 80 say for example you will still get something okay so i can put one more else f there or lf okay so in that particular case say for example they have given me range if you score above 70 percent but less than 80 percent you will still get something okay you will still get something so in that particular case if my score is 75 say for example now this condition will be evaluated to true then in that particular case i should be still getting something okay so you will still get something got printed because i scored 75 which is okay and as promised by my parents i will still get something all right so this is real life scenario in most of your uh, you know school lives and kids life that that has happened especially to all my indian uh, friends because academics is given very much importance in indian you know education system so uh, i thought why not take this particular example no offenses to ever and anyone at all it is just for learning purpose and understanding so and this is just an example none of my parents promised any of these things if i score 90 or 80 or whatever but this is this is what uh, they did promise that if i'll score 90 i'll get some present not the motorbike but some present or something so yeah this is this is how if else if else 
works in Python. Now to correlate this if else example with the automation script that we'll, we'll be using. So we'll be using if else a lot while do while we'll be using these a lot when we develop the automation script. So say for example, you have an application and the application uh, when once you log in into the application, you are expecting a particular page or the web element to appear on the page. So there you can use if else condition. So if that particular web element is present, then you move ahead with the script for the script that you will write. Okay. If that web element is not present, there is no point in moving forward with that particular script. Then you will stop your test case at that particular point. So that's where you will be using these if else python if else and then if you want to iterate you will be using while do while so i'll explain all those concept the python concept in this tutorial and then as we move along to the selenium automation we'll use same thing into the actual scripts okay so that's all for python if else i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching